Hi everyone, you're welcome to Explore Insights. In this video, I want to basically talk about binary subtraction. In my last video, I made mention of binary addition. So if you have not watched that, please do well to go back to my previous video and come back here when you're done. Now, let's consider the basic rule of binary subtraction. It says that if we have 0 minus 1, it's going to give us 0. If we have 1 minus 0, it's going to give us 1. If we have 0 minus 1, it's going to give us 1 with borrow 1. And 1 minus 0 will give us 0. Now, to better understand this, let's move straight with an example. So, with a given example, we have example 1, which says that we should subtract 0, 0, 1, 1 from 1, 1, 0, 0 all in base 2. All we need to do is to take this first and subtract from this. So this is why we have 1100 minus 0011. Remember, we have to do this operation while considering the basic rules, which I have just mentioned before coming over here. Now, for 0 minus 1, it says it's going to be 1 with borrow 1. So it means we have to locate where we can borrow 1 from. And at this point, we cannot take one, so we'll take one here. When we take one here, it's going to be zero because one minus one, it will be zero. So we'll move over. One minus one will now be one with a borrowed one. So this is how we have the other one here. Now, with this, we go to the next digit we are supposed to subtract from. So we have one minus one, which will give us zero. Remember, when we took one here, it had zero as the present value. So 0 minus 0 will give us 0. Now 1 minus 0 will give us 1. Now for us to reconfirm the values we have, let's check it also in decimal if we are correct. Now this literally says that when you take through this value into base 10, we are going to have 12. And for this, we are going to have 3. So 12 minus 3 will give us 9. And we can also check it from here. Remember, um, if we put it in two with each place values, we are going to have 2 raised to power 0, 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2, and 2 raised to power 3 from each of this. Now, 2 raised to power 0 will give us 1. And for this, which one at all know when we multiply through? So, we just literally have 8, which is 2 raised to power 3 for this. This, when multiplied, it's going to give us 0. So, it has no impact. And here we have 1. So, 8 plus 1 it's going to give us 9. So this shows that we are correct with this subtraction operation of the binary. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. So please stay tuned to my subsequent videos by just hitting the notification bell. Okay, so see you in my next video. Have a nice time. Bye.